If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, people avoid me because I'm socially awkward and shy. How can I change this? Answer by Emma Tienda. I don't think that people avoid you because of your awkwardness. And even so, I must disagree with how you use the term avoid. But that's a personal matter. I believe that they avoid you because of how you tag yourself. Dear asker, own it. Let me give you a useful piece of advice or at least that's what I would like it to be. While you are out there trying to mingle around with folks your age and you're constantly thinking about your awkwardness and your anxieties and your own strange stuff, you start to ignore important social cues that people might be giving to you, which makes it hard for people to find you approachable. Don't give your shyness and your awkwardness the honor of being you, because they aren't. Stop giving yourself a hard time by always putting on the tag of I can't mingle as I would like because I'm kinda weird slash not funny slash uncool slash x slash y slash c. You can't mingle because you're overthinking the interaction. Maybe you act unnatural, so what? Maybe you get embarrassed over nothing, so what? It's no big deal if you don't act as others, really. And even so, when you're embarrassed, go ahead and laugh at yourself. Be the person who makes you blush instead of being the one who resents it. Make your whole deal of problem a tiny little thing that you can use for your advantage. Move weird, snore, or whatever weird thing you dig and make it your trademark. Remember, we are all our worst enemies. Yeah, there will be people who won't like your awkwardness because they see themselves as cooler than that but there are plenty of others who won't like that. There are plenty of people who can't go out the streets without sweating, but they own it. You want to know how I got to use my shyness for my advantage? I go out to the street. Headphones on and music blasting and I start skipping trot the streets while singing. People give me the weirdest looks. Guys who look like your stereotypical jocks almost always say something mean. Girls who look like your stereotypical model physique almost always stare at me, blank. And you know what I think of that? It's awesome. Maybe I'm being a bit too paranoid. Maybe they were having a bad day. Maybe I'm the one who was having the bad day. Maybe H, maybe G, maybe you. It doesn't matter because I'm just skipping and singing and the world isn't crashing. My dear, you're okay. Just please, 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 stop being so hard on yourself. Most of the time people won't care more than you do. Other times you're just trying to fit everything into little boxes and that's when you start focusing on the future more than the present and you make yourself a boring person. Go ahead. I'm not sure how Eleanor Roosevelt said it or if she was in fact the one who said it but, do one thing every day that scares you. Go to a library and make small talk with someone. Go out to the street and start dancing. Sing in a room full of people. Look at yourself in the mirror and focus on your nice eyes or your great nose. Dress nicely and crack a joke about yourself. Invent a trademark. And above all, enjoy your weirdness, cease it, exploit it. Be acceptant of yourself and others will follow. Don't overthink the interaction. Don't try to guess what everyone is thinking. Hope I helped. Answer by David Windsor. It can be a big challenge. You've made the first step. People watching is one method. Easy to do. No equipment needed other than eyes and a working brain. Look at how people move and stand as they meet, interact and leave. Don't stare, just deliberately watch for the social cues they react to. Th. A leaned in when the other person spoke excitedly. Why? They crossed their arms this time instead of leaning in. How did that affect the conversation? They uncrossed their arms. Why did they do that? Actively watch and then think about why. Google for sites about social anxiety and shyness. Look there for TV series that show good examples of how characters overcome this challenge. Look for dramas not comedies. You want examples of how shyness was overcome, not how it was laughed at. The shows can be funny, but sitcoms are just brain rot. Yes, there will be some teen dramas on the list, but this is for research, not entertainment. Get out more, make yourself go to places where talking and interacting with strangers is okay and expected. Join a club for an interest of yours. Easier to talk about things you are comfortable with. Read books about people who overcame this problem biographies or fiction. Go places where you don't know anyone. How could that help? Simple, if no one knows you, they have no prejudgments about you. It is a break in routine, break in old patterns, decide how you want to be and do it, because nobody there knew the old you, they will only see the less shy, less awkward you. I had to move to a totally different province, only a few 1000 kilometers to get up enough courage to overcome that challenge, to break my old mold and prove to myself I could be more of what I wanted to be now. Answer by, Amanda. J. 
Hudson, by looking at yourself and understanding why you are the way you are. There's nothing wrong with being shy as long as it doesn't limit your life but I believe it's your confidence. You have to practically being confident and learn to understand yourself and WHST frightens you in social situations. Look up videos on on social anxiety and look up cognitive therapy techniques and work on your self-esteem A and E confidence. If you're an introvert, it's K not to like crowds and it's okay to be an introvert. Society applauds the extrovert and looks down its nose at the introvert and that is wrong. Read about personality types and see which one you fit. Educate yourself on you and pay no attention to negative critics THSD really can't look at themselves so they have to pull others apart. Stick at it and good luck.